सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सहवीर्यं करवावह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमा विद्विषावह ओ शातिशाशाति ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णात्पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमाद यूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाशाति आप्याय मंगा वाक्णश्चक्षुश्रोत्रमथ बलमींद्रििया चर्वाणे सर्व ब्रह्म उपनिषद माहम ब्रह्म निराकुरिया ब्रह्म निराक अनिराकमस्वराकमे अस्तु तदात्मनिरते यौपनिषत्सु धर्मास्ते मयि सन्तु ते मयि सन्तु ओ शातिशातिमृतिपुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवतन ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओमेतर मुद्गीतमुपीत ओमतिदाते व्याख्या <coughs> the discussion that was carried out with reference to vyat of the space that space is born is akasha vikara vibhaktatvat ghatadivat and many of the all the criteria that apply to vyat also are applicable to vivayu or matarishwa <coughs> if this is so then Why do you have a similar, a separate adhikarana? Nanu vayo akasha se tulya yo utpatti prakrane shrona shrona yo ekme vadikarana uhay vishemastu. Why not the discussion about why also why is not included in the previous adhikarana because the conditions applicable to both of them are similar. Utpatti prakrane shrona shrona yo. उत्पत्ति प्रकरणे इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द क्रिएशन श्रवणम इन तैतरी उपनिषद इट टॉक्स अबाउट द क्रिएशन ऑफ वायु इन छंदोग्य उपनिषद इट डज नॉट टॉक अबाउट द क्रिएशन ऑफ वायु सो श्रवण आश्रवण हो तुल्य हो बोथ ऑफ देम आर सिमिलर सो सेम काइंड ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट्स आर एप्लीकेबल टू बोथ ऑफ देम देन एकमेव अधिकरण उभय विषय अस्तु अधिकरण और टॉपिक हैज इस विषय एंड देन समय एंड देन पूर्व पक्ष है देन उत्तर पक्ष है 
So why not both of these, Vyat as well as Matarishwa, why not both of them were made Vishaya, the subject matter of the discussion of the previous Adhikaranam, previous topic. Kim Atideshena Asati Vishesha When we do not find any Vishesha, anything different about the Vyat and Matarishwa, the space in the air, when there is nothing different between them, then why should there be a different Adhikarana for discussion of Matarishwa? Idea is that Adhikashanka, that Matarishwa can possibly create some doubts which may not have been created with reference to Vyat or space, therefore. <coughs> Satyameva Etat. It is true that even though there is a great similarity between both of them and ever, that they could have been included in the one Adhikarana, the previous Adhikarana. Tathap, even then, <coughs> Shabda Matra Krita Shanka Nivrutya Arthaya Mati Desha Kriyate that There are statements about Matarishwa, there are statements about Vayu that can create doubt. Those statements are not there, particularly this, this me, anas, Sayesha, Anastamita, Devata, Yad Vayu. Vayu is the Anastamita, Devata, a Devata that does not suffer from extinction, does not disappear, it is always there. Deva Astamaya, it never, that's a Devata that never sets, it always rise, shines. This is something different with reference to Vayu. <coughs> also, and therefore, Samvarga Vidya Dishu Vipasyataya Vayaho Mahabhagatva Sharvanat Vayaruhyeva Etan Sarvan Samrukte Samrungte That Vayu swallows all the other devatas. Now, this also is not stated with reference to space. So, therefore, these are the additional things, things stated about the Vayu. And therefore, Kasyajit Mandadhyam For those who simply follow the words and not the spirit. That's what Lord Krishna said. Yam imam puspitam vacham pravadantya vipaschita veda vadarata partha nanyadasti divadhyam. They take literally the description of heaven. They take it all literally and meaning that that is where Vedas have the tatparya. Vedas do not have tatparya in prescribing Swarga as your objective or as a destination. It is only simply to encourage you to perform the action that the Vedas say that. But then this avipaschitaha, people who are non-discriminating, they take those words literally. Thus it is important to understand what should be taken literally and what should be taken figuratively, what should be taken in a primary sense, what should be taken in the secondary sense. That is where the discrimination or viveka is required. Mandadhyam, those who do not know that viveka, take those statements literally and interpret that vayu is immortal, vayu always is, etc. Astame pratishyada bhyasya bhavati nityatvasanga kasya chiditi. Amurtatvadi shravanasya krita pratipad Krita Pratividhitvat Katham Tadvashala Asanka Kasyajit Even though these points also have been answered with reference to the space, it has been answered. That the immortality also is relative, is not absolute in case of space as well as vayu. So really speaking, even the doubts that could possibly arise with reference to vayu have been dealt with. But still, specifically these passages were not referred to which are only applicable to Vayu, therefore somebody may have a doubt and therefore a new Adhikarana is justified, a separate Adhikarana is justified. Now continuing the page 513. Says Jnayanirana Brahmano Vyat Parva Karnatvam Puru Adhikarana Yoho Uktam Purva Adhikarana Yoho in the previous two adhikaranas, previous two topics, 
Vyat Pavana Karatam Brahmanaha. The previous Adhikarana said that Brahman is the Vyat Karanam, the cause of space. The past Adhikarana said Vyat is the Matarishwa Karanam, or it is the cause of the Vayu. <coughs> now then, Idanim Agnihiva Visfulingaha Agnihetha Utpadyate. Tata Brahmantarad. Brahmot but Brahma Utpadyatamidi Asankya. Now somebody may say that look how from the fire the sparks are created. Sparks also are fire, fire also is fire, therefore from fire, fire is created. See when the sparks emerge from fire, you can say that the fire is the cause of sparks. Fire is a witness to sparks. But what is the spark? Spark also is essentially fire. So this is an example where fire gives rise to fire. Fire becomes the cause of fire. So why not similarly Brahma becomes the cause of Brahman? Why not? So one Brahman becomes the cause of another Brahman. This idea. Brahmantarot, Brahmantarat, Brahma Utpadyadan. From another Brahman, when Brahman can be created, why not? He the Ashankya Asambhavastu. So next sutra, which also forms an Adhikaranam, answers this possible doubt. That is it possible that Brahman can be created from another Brahman? So the sutra kara says, Asambhavastu Sataha Anupapatte Asambhavastu Sataha Sataha Sadatma Kasya Brahmanaha A Brahman which is the nature of Sat or existence Asambhavaha Utpatti Asambhavaha So Asambhava is the Pratigna Asambhavaha Sataha asambhava, that's what it is. In fact, Sataha asambhava, that's the pratigna. Sataha utpattihi, so utpatti asambhava, that's how to say. Yeah. So, other utpatti asambhava, but then utpatti asambhava, for sat utpatti is not possible. Why is it so? Then the hitu is given. Anupapatte Upapatte reasoning Anupatte is not reasonable not logical the creation of Brahman is not logical Sat Samanyat Sat Samanyascha Utpatti Anupatte so doubt is can Brahman be created from another Brahman but Brahman is Sat or existence other Brahman also is such existence. Then, is it possible that existence is created from existence? No. Samanya cannot be created from Samanya. That's the idea. Visheshasyeva ghatadehe nut Samanya janyatva darshanat. If Vishesha can be born from Samanya, but Samanya cannot be born from Samanya. For example, Clay is Samanya, is universal. Ghata is Vishesha, a particular. So Ghata, which is Vishesha or particular, is seen to be born from clay, which is Samanya or universal. So particular can be born of universal, but universal cannot be born of universal. Clay cannot be born of clay. Therefore, Brahman, which is Sat Samanya, which is Nirvishesha, so Vayu has Visheshata, therefore it is born. Space also is Vishesha, has also an attribute, therefore, so Shabda is the attribute of space, so it can be born. Brahman is attributeless, an attributeless thing, attributeless cannot be born. Asambhava. We have the Vayasika Nyayamala verse is there. Mm-hmm. 
it is adhikaranam of only one sutra that's all it is but anyway this short adhikarana is sad brahma jayate no va karanatve ne jayate yet karanam jayate tad tad vyad vayvadeo yatha so sad brahma jayate no va sad brahma Brahman is Sat or existence becomes a Vishaya here. Jayate Nova. Is Brahman born or not? If space is born, air is born, why not Brahman also? So why not Brahman also has birth? Brahman also is created. Why not? Karnatvena Jayate. So Purupaksha says. Karnatvena Jayate. Since Brahman is Karanam. We find that every karana also is karya. So, Vyat is karanam for air and Vyat also is karyam of Brahma. Air is a karanam of fire, but air also is a karyam of space. So, we find in our day-to-day life that every karanam or cause also is karyam, is in effect. Every father who is the cause of the son, also is the son of his father. So this is what we find. Yet karanam jayate tad vyad vayvadeo yatha Yet karanam, whatever is the cause, jayate, is found to be born. Vyad vayvadeo yatha This is vyad is the karanam, space is the cause of the vayu, and is seen to be born, why also cause of fire, is seen to be born, so Brahman also is caused. Therefore, by the example of Vyat and Vayu, Brahman also is born. So that is a Puru Pakshan. Asataha akaranatvena khadinam satudbhavat vyapte ajadivakyena badat sanniva jayate Asataha akaranatvena. The problem is, is Sat Brahman born of Asat? But Asat is non existent. It doesn't have a content. So nothing cannot give rise to something. So Asat cannot be Karanam. Khadinam Sata Udbhavat. Kham in space. All of them are born of Sat. <coughs> Vyapte ajadi vakyena badhat is vyapti that whatever is caused must be born is badhat is denied or negated by ajadi vakyena nejayate mriyate va kadachit esha ajaha mahanatma etc. Sat neva jayate therefore sat is not born. <coughs> the tika says here chandage sadeva somya idam grasa iti shvete in chandogya shruti says sadeva somya idam grasa idam this universe was agre before its creation sat or existence it was brahman before its creation tat sad rupam brahma janmavat bhavitam arhati karanatvat viyadvat so Anuman is presented here. Tat Sadrupam Brahma Janmavad Bhavitam Arhati Sadrupam Brahma Brahma of the nature of Sadar existence Janmavad Bhavitam Arhati It should be possessed of Janma Possessed of birth Meaning it should be created. Why? Hetu Karnatvat Because Brahman is Karanam Vyadvat So Vyad of space is Karanam and space is born. Therefore, the Vyapti is whatever is Karanam also is born. Brahman is Karanam, therefore, Brahman also is born. Pura Paksha. Idi Prapte Brumaha. So, this is not an uncommon question. The common question is if Ishvara created the universe, who created Ishvara? Very intelligent people ask this question. That means, so we find that the Creator also is created. If Ishwara is created, who created Ishwara? If you fellows cannot answer that question, then you don't know what you're talking about. So you don't know what Ishwara is. That's what they tell us. But 
how that vyapti what is vyapti whatever is created must also be created there seems to be a universal rule which they apply in case of ishvar also But that's not a universal rule that what is created must also be created because we'll discuss that it'll come here <coughs> यदि प्राप्ते ब्रूम सदूप ब्रह्म न जायते सत असंभव सत उत्पत्ति असंभव सत इज नॉट बॉर्न इज नॉट क्रिएटेड इज नॉट यू नो इज नॉट इन इफेक्ट कुत तजनक कारण से दुर्निपत्वाद अनुपपत्ते मीन्स वॉट दुर्निपत्वाद दैट वॉट कैन पॉसिबली बी द कॉज ऑफ सत विज सत और ब्रह्मन ऑल्सो इज बॉर्न इज ऑल्सो एन इफेक्ट देन देर मस्ट बी कॉज ऑफ ब्रह्मन सो यू कैन नॉट दुर्निपत्वाद इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर यू टू इन एनी वे अराइव एट द कॉज ऑफ ब्रह्मन सो यू कैन नॉट फाइंड यू कैन नॉट अराइव एट द कॉज ऑफ ब्रह्मन तथाए टू इलेस्टेट न तवत असत कारण सो वी विल सी हाउ वॉट कैन पॉसिबली द कॉज ऑफ ब्रह्मन सत कैन बी कॉज ऑफ सत असत कैन बी कॉज ऑफ असत और विशेष कैन बी कॉज ऑफ सामान्य दिस थ्री पॉसिबिलिटा देर न तवत असत सत कारण असत और नॉन एग्जिस्टेंस कैन नॉट बी द कॉज ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंस कथम असत है सच जाए थे निषेधा बिकॉज छंद निगेट्स और डिनाइज और निगेट्स कथम असत है सच जाए थे हाउ कैन सत बी बॉर्न ऑफ असत सो असत कैन नॉट बी कारण ऑफ सत हाउ आर सत कैन सत बी द कारण ऑफ सत ना भी सदैव सत है कारण और सदैव सत ऑल्सो कैन नॉट बी द कॉज ऑफ सत वाय आत्माश्रयापत्ते आश्रय आत्माश्रयापत्ते है आत्माश्रय दैट मीन्स वॉट दैट आई राइड ऑन माई ओन शोल्डर बोल आत्माश्रय आई राइडिंग ऑन माई ओन शोल्डर इसको आत्माश्रय इज नॉट पॉसिबल आई कैन नॉट बी माई ओन आश्रय आई कैन नॉट लिफ्ट माई सेल्फ मीनिंग आई कैन नॉट राइड ऑन माई ओन शोल्डर आई कैन नॉट लिफ्ट माई सेल्फ माई ओन बूट स्ट्रैप्स यू नो so this those long straps are there so can you lift yourself by your own straps you cannot there were sat cannot be born of sat all right then can sat be born of you can it's own karya napi vedadikam satah karanam so can anything other than sat be the karanam like space etc can sat or brahman be one of space or other things so is no vedadinam satah satah jayamanatvat but space itself is born of sat and therefore space is not there when sat is there how can sat be born of space which is not yet in existence <coughs> या तो व्याप्ति यदण तत्जाते सो व्याप्ते अजादिवाक्यन बाधा वॉट्स ए व्याप्ति यदण तत्जाते वॉट एव द कॉज इज बॉन्न यथा व्यत जस्ट एस स्पेस इज इफेक्ट स्पेस इज अ कॉज एन इट्स ऑल्सो इज बॉन्न सो ब्रह्मन इज कॉज ऑल्सो इज बॉन्न सा सवा एश महान आत्मा यदि श्रुति बाध्या बट दट व्याप्ति इज निगेटेड बाय द स्टेटमेंट श्रुति विच से सवाएश महान अज आत्मा आत्मा इज अज महान ऑल परवेजिव अज है इज अन बॉन तस्मा सद्रह्म नहीं बजायते ब्रह्मन विच एक्सिस्टेंस कैन नॉट बी क्रिएटेड Cannot be born. It is what they call the uncaused cause. You'd accept that. So let us go to the Bhashya now. Sadhu 
ಶ್ರೀರತ್ನ ಪ್ರಭ ಅನಾದ್ಯನಂತ ಮಹತ ಪರಂ ಧ್ರುವಂ ನ ಚಾಸಿ ಕಶ್ಚಿತ್ ಜನಿತ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅನಾದಿತ್ವ ಶ್ರುತೀನ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಶ್ರುತೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನಾದಿ ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ಡರ್ಥ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಬರ್ತ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅನಾದ್ಯನಂತ ಮಹತ ಪರಂ ಧ್ರುವಂ ನಿಚಾಯತ ಮೃತ್ಯುಮುಖಾತ್ ಪ್ರಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಅನಾದಿ ಅನಂತ ಮಹತ ಪರಂ ಧ್ರುವಂ ಅನಾದಿ ಬಿಗಿನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅನಂತ ಎಂಡ್ಲೆಸ್ ಮಹತ ಪರಂ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ಮಹತ್ ಸೊ ಇವನ್ ಮಹತ್ ತತ್ವ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ದೇಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಂಡ್ ಧ್ರುವಂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಂಪರೈಸಿಬಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ಲೆಸ್ ನ ಚಾಸ್ಯ ಕಶ್ಚಿತ್ ಜನಿತ ದಿಸ್ ನೋ ಜನಿತ ದಿಸ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರೋಜನೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಅಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರೋಜನೇಟರ್ ನೋ ಫಾದರ್ ನೋ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅನಾದಿತ್ವ ಶ್ರುತೀನ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಅನಾದಿತ್ವ ದಿ ಬರ್ತ್ಲೆಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ in the Shvetashwata Rupanishad. Very interesting. Tvam sthri, tvam pumanasi, tvam kumara utava kumari, tvam jirno dande namanchasi, tvam jato si vishvato mukha. Tvam jato si vajato bhavati vishvato mukha. So, talking about Ishwara, this Rishi says to Ishwara Bhagavan, tvam sthri, O Lord, you are in the form of this woman. Tum Pumanasi, you are in the form of this man. Tum Kumara Uttava Kumari, you are this young man, you are in the form of this young woman. Tum Jato Bhavasi, Vishwato Mukha. Hey, you are born with faces all over. You are born in all these forms. So there it looks like Svita Aswada Rupanishad talks about birth of brahman in the form of this creation so brahman is born id utpatti shrutya virodha asti nava so then that is the anaditva shruti the statements which say brahman is anadi this some rare statement which says brahman is born there were virodha asti nava is there a virodha is there a contradiction between them do they contradict each other do they are opposed to each other <clears throat> so throughout this is a thing the the doubt arises because there are there appear to be different statements of shruti and therefore whether these shrutis are talking about the same thing or are they talking about opposite things if the shruti talks about opposite things then shruti cannot be pramana so puru paksha always says that the shrutis seem to be talking about opposite things shrutis are opposing each other they were that it is not pramana then ekadeshi says what does ekadeshi do ekadeshi says no the shrutis are not opposed to each other why what is the basis that one is mukhya other is gauni the one shruti is to be taken in the primary sense literally whereas other shruti must be taken in a figurative sense secondary sense gauni asambhavat so this ekadeshi vedantin who wants to reconcile and say that there is no contradiction among the different statements of shruti there is samanvaya there is ek vakyata there is a unity of purport among the different statements of shruti that's what the ek deshi says but ek deshi adopts apa siddhant unfortunately in trying to prove the pramanyam or validity of the vedas or upanishads he resorts to this argument that one shruti is gauni other shruti is mukhya but we want all shrutis to be mukhya that way is apa siddhanta so although what he says 
is 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 acceptable to us he wants to prove that the upanishad vakyas are all pramanam which goes well with us but the manner in which he does by saying that one shruti is primary other shruti is secondary there is not acceptable as therefore he is not totally with us <coughs> so he could say he would say that one shruti is gauni other shruti is mukhya therefore there is no contradiction then we say that no both are mukhya so that is how the argument goes <coughs> पूर्व पक्ष एक सिद्धांत देन एक वाक्यत्व भाव अभाव संदेह अस्ति संदेह एक वाक्यत्व भाव अभाव्याम वेदर इन दिस टू स्टडी स्टेटमेंट्स इज देर एक वाक्यता यूनिटी ऑफ परपोर्ट One says anadi ananta, other says it is born. Do they mean the same, or they don't mean the same? They are opposed to each other. <coughs> so these two positions are possible. Sandeha, therefore, the sandeha, the doubt is created. Doubt can be created when there are two equally possible positions. Both of them can be right or appear to be right. Both the contradictory or opposing positions, when both of them appear to be right, then a doubt can arise. That can arise. Then we have to show how one of them is right, other is not right. Asti virodhi di puro pakshe. So all along, puro pakshi wants to show that the there is no consistency in Upanishads. That. The statements of Upanishads themselves contradict each other, and therefore Upanishad is not pramanam. This is the main pura paksha throughout. <coughs> throughout, the Ekadeshi wants to reconcile by saying that one is gauni, other is mukhya, and throughout the Siddhan they would say that both shudhis are mukhya, and still there is no contradiction between them. So that's the Siddhan then. The <coughs> pura paksha. यथा वायवादे अमृतवादिकम उत्पत्तिश्रुतिबलापेक्षिक यथा वायवादे अमृतवादिक वायुश्च अंतरिक्ष अमृत बोथ वायु एंड अंतरिक्ष इमोटल दट इमोटल इज आपेक्षिक इज ओनली रिलेटिव नॉट इन द प्राइमरी सैंस बिकॉज उत्पत्ति श्रुति बला बिकॉज श्रुति क्लिली से इज आकाशा वायु सो वायु इज बॉन रेफर इवन दो इल्स वेल डि सेट दट वायु इज इम मॉटल दट इम मॉर्टैलिटी कैन नॉट बी टेकन लिटरली दट इम मॉर्टैलिटी हैज टू बी टेकन ओनली इन अ रिलेटिव सेंस तथा ब्रह्म अनादित्व आपेक्षिक में दृष्टांत संगत सो पूर्व पक्षी से दैट इफ ऑन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ वन श्रुति यू से दैट अदर श्रुति इज आपेक्षिक फ्रॉम द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द श्रुति विच से इज वायु इज बॉर्न यू से दैट द इमोटर वायु इज आपेक्षिक सिमिलरली वन श्रुति से इज ब्रह्मन इज बर्थलेस अदर श्रुति इज ब्रह्मन इज बॉर्न सो बर्थलेस इज आपेक्षिक पूर्वपक्ष सो इति दृष्टांत संगत एक पक्ष प्राप्त सो दृष्टांत संगति वाट इज सेड अर्लियर इट सर्व और वाट दृष्टांत यू गेव बिकम्स द बेसिस ऑफ दिस आर्ग्युमेंट हि एक पक्ष प्राप्त व्यदी सो वेन दट पूर्वपक्ष कम्स दर इज अ कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन बिटवीन द श्रुदीज देन The Ekadeshi presents this paksha that one of them is Gauni, other is Mukhya. So we are ready. Bhasya Kara says, "Viyat pavana yoho, asambhaviman janmano ho api, utpattim upashrutya, brahmano api." 
भवेत कुतस्चित उत्पत्ति ही इति स्यात कष्टचिन मति ही सो वियत पवन यो हो असंभव असंभव विमान जन्मनो हो सो वियत मीन्स स्पेस पवन मीन्स एयर और यू नो असंभव विमान जन्मनो हो इट इज़ नॉट पॉसिबल दैट दे कैन बी बोर्न लुकिंग एट स्पेस इट डेसेंट लुक दैट स्पेस कैन बी बोर्न स्पेस इज़ ऑलवेज देयर द वाइज इज़ ऑलवेज देयर हाउ कैन दे बोर्न दैट्स व्हाट नॉर्मली वी थिंक बट द प्रीवियस अधिकरण आज एस्टैब्लिश दैट स्पेस आल्सो इज़ बोर्न एयर आल्सो इज़ बोर्न उत्पत्ति उपस्थितिया देवर ब्रह्मणों भी भवेत कुतस्चित भवेत कुतस्चित उत्पत्ति ही दिन यू कैन गो एस टेप फर्दर इ वायु एंड स्पेस व्हिच डू नॉट जनरली अपीयर टू बी डोज व्हिच आर बोर्न द बर्थ सिम्स टू बी इम्पॉसिबल इफ इम्पॉसिबल कैन आल्सो बी पॉसिबल दें व्हाई नॉट ब्रह्मण आल्सो बी बोर्न ब्रह्मणों भी भवेत कुतस्चित उत्प Can be born of kutasit from something. It is yath kasachin matihi. That kind of matihi or a doubt can arise in somebody's mind. सिर्फ ध्यान देना है दर्शिता श्रुति विरोध परिहार द्वारा समन्वय धुरी करना पादादि संगताया है दर्शिता श्रुति विरोध परिहार द्वारा दिस टू श्रुति दा शोन वन श्रुति सेज ब्रह्मनिर अनादि अनंतम अदर श्रुति सिम्स टू सेज दैट ब्रह्मनिर बोन विरोध परिहार द्वारा सो परपोज ऑफ़ दिस अधिकरण इज़ टू एलिमिनेट � there appears to be contradiction. The purpose of this adhikaran is to remove that contradiction. Samanve dhudi karanat. Therefore, Brahmani samanve hai. All along, the, there is consistency with reference to the nature of Brahman. Pada adhi sangataya hai. So, all the sangatis are applicable as before. <coughs> पूर्व पक्षे विरोधात अप्रामाण्य नित्य सिद्धे ब्रह्मणि समन्वय असिद्धि ही। So what is पूर्व पक्ष? पूर्व पक्ष says that the श्रुतिज़ are opposed to each other, they contradict each other, and therefore नित्य सिद्धे ब्रह्मणि समन्वय असिद्धि ही। The उपनिषद always, उपनिषद always talk about ब्रह्मन which is ever existent. Looks like some Upanishads say that Upanishads say that Brahman is born. Some Upanishads say that Brahman is not born. That's all it is. There are some Indian thinkers who think like that. Some very intelligent people also. They think that these people, the Sutrakara, has really messed up everything. Sutrakara by showing that there is consistency in Brahman has an injustice to Upanishads. Sutrakara is as though robbed the Upanishads of their freedom. By creating a sutra and showing that all Upanishads say the same thing, therefore the independent of Upanishads and the insight, the different insights the Upanishads give is actually blocked. Because Sutrakara and Bhashyakara make a certain mindset in you and therefore you look at the Upanishads only in that way, so you fail to see what Upanishads really has to contribute. There was that not everybody is sympathetic to our view that all that Upanishad is Pramanam. That all Upanishads are consistent. They have the same theme, the same purport. They are, they are not sympathetic to that. They don't think that it has to be like that. They always talk of 
the development of thought how the thought grew how the thought evolved it's not that right from the beginning you knew this in in the beginning you thought one way then you the thought evolved into this and this and this and finally the thought evolved into this there were that upanishad earlier then this is later then this is later this is the scholastic view point the historical view point those who look upon everything as history that that after all is all human creation all scriptures also are creation of human mind they reflect the thinking of the great people no doubt but nevertheless they were human beings and therefore they are not all knowing therefore it is not possible for anybody to know god in reality you cannot be all knowing therefore god cannot be really known as he is it is still evolving so no religion is final all religions are evolving including the vedic religion also is evolving so christianity also is evolving and islam also is evolving so they are all evolving so what's the big deal why do you insist that you are superior to the people they are all incomplete all religious study are incomplete that means the case nothing is everybody is same they are all incomplete nobody is better than other don't claim yourself to be superior to others <coughs> etc etc that's how they think you see <coughs> but there is not the traditional view point traditional view point is brahmani samanvaya in brahman anadi ananta brahmade samanvaya that brahmani anadi birthless ananta endless infinite and that's that all upanishads are consistent in delineating or teaching brahman of that nature <coughs> so by puru paksha wants to so show, show that there is no consistency there for brahmani samanve asiddhi that there is no samanvaya there is no consistency with reference to brahman siddhante vakya vakya ikyad avirodhat pramanye tatra tat siddhi as far as siddhant is concerned vakya ikyad that even though the vakyas appear to be contradictory really there is no contradiction in them this is what the siddhant always wants to show the pramanya therefore upan both are pramanyam therefore tatra tat siddhi nitya siddhi brahmani samanvay siddhi therefore there is siddhi or there is the uh, proof proof or our establishment that all upanishads are consistent with reference to revealing brahman which is birthless and endless <coughs> संभावना मात्र अर्थ सिद्ध अति प्रसंग सी द फर्स्ट वाक्य ऑफ द भाष्यकार इज वियत पवन असंभाव्य मन जन्मनो अभी उत्पत्ति उपश्रुत हियरिंग दैट इवन वियत एंड पवन द स्पेस एंड एयर विच डू नॉट अपियर टू बी बॉर्न दे अपियर टू बी इटर्नल बट दे आर ऑल्सो बॉर्न हियरिंग दैट there can arise a possibility it da possible doubt that brahman also could be born but there is no sambhavana you know sambhavana matra artha siddha just because sambhavana is there just because possibility is there doesn't mean it is it is established it is proven ati prasanga so many sambhavanas elsewhere also sambhavana or possibility can be there if possibility is not the proof evidence is the proof or reasoning is the proof possibility is not proof pramana va sadhanam vaktav therefore pramanam you must give evidence as to how can brahman be born do you have any evidence for the doubt to be created so tatha or if you look at ratnarva brahma kutasti jayate कारण आकाशवदी अनुमान अनुग्रह अनुग्रहात 
जन्म श्रुति बलि ऐसी दिया है ब्रह्म कुतस्थित जायते ब्रह्मन इज बॉर्न फ्रॉम समथिंग वाय कारण बिकॉज ब्रह्मन इज कारण सो यद यद कारण तत्व जायते दैट्स हाउ यू कारण मीन्स देर आई दू कॉल इट हेतु और व्याप्ति बोथ ऑफ दर इन्वॉल्व दैट सो कारण सो वेर एवर कारण इज देर देन जन्यत्व इज देर यत्र यत्र कारण त्र जन्यत्व वट इज द एग्जाम्पल देर आकाश आका यथा आकाशे जस्ट इन केस ऑफ आकाश आकाश इज कारण एज वेल एज जन्य इन ब्रह्म इज कारण ब्रह्म ऑल्सो इज जन्य इति अनुमान अनुग्रहात दिस अनुमान अनुमान इज फेवरेबल टू द बर्थ ऑफ ब्रह्म आकाश इज कारण ऑफ वायु एंड आकाश इज जन्य इज बॉर्न सो ब्रह्म इज कारण ऑफ आकाश दर वर ब्रह्म ऑल्सो इज बॉर्न सो दिस रीजनिंग फेवर्स द जन्म श्रुति फेवर्स द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ श्रुति विच अपियर्स टू से दैट ब्रह्म इज बॉर्न देवर जन्म श्रुति बलियसी दर इज श्रुति विच इज ब्रह्म इज अनबॉर्न अदर श्रुति से इज ब्रह्म इज बॉर्न विच वन इज स्ट्रॉगर बट दर सेकेंड वन दट ब्रह्म इज बॉर्न इज सपोर्टेड बाय दिस अनुमान और रीजनिंग और देर फॉर जन्म श्रुति बलियसी दिस स्टेटमेंट टॉकिंग अबाउट द बर्थ ऑफ ब्रह्म इज स्ट्रॉगर इतिहास तथा सुभाषे ग आकाशादिभ्य उत्तरेशा विकाराण उत्पत्ति उपश्रुत आकाशस्याकारादेव ब्रह्मण उत्पत्ति सो फर्स्ट लाइन फर्स्ट सेंटेंस टॉक अबाउट दि संभावना पॉसिबिलिटी सेकेंड सेंटेंस गिव दि रीजनिंग हाउ दट संभावना इज रीजनेबल देर फॉर इट कैन फॉर्म द बेसिस ऑफ डाउट तथा तो इलास्टेट विकार आकाशादिभ्य उत्तरेशा विकाराण उत्पत्ति उपश्रुत आकाशाद वायु वायु अग्नि अग्ने आप श्रुति से सो विकार आकाशादिभ्य आकाश वायु एंड अदर्स विच आर दमस विकार दमस मॉडिफिकेशन दमस क्रिएटेड उत्तरेशा विकाराण उत्पत्ति सो सब्सिक्वेंट विकार सब्सिक्वेंट क्रिएशन केम फ्रॉम दो द कॉजेस विच दिम्स वेर क्रिएटेड उपश्रुत आकाश से विकारादेव ब्रह्मण उत्पत्ति इज अ वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग स्टेटमेंट आकाश से विकारात यू नो आकाश ऑल्सो इज विकार दर्व ब्रह्म उत्पत्ति वॉट इट इज इज आकाश से आकाश से विकारादेव ब्रह्म विकार इन बिट्वीन सो एनी वे सो विकार ब्रह्म एव उत्पत्ति शुड बीन दैट वे आकाश से विकार ब्रह्म विच के फिफ्थ के सो ब्रह्म विच इट सेल्व इज विकार और मॉडिफिकेशन From that, Akash is born. Akash is a cause, and is vikar. And Akash is born in Brahman. Therefore, Brahman also must be vikar. It is kastit manyeda. So this this argument, upavatti, it favors the Janma Shruti. You know. न च अनादि कारण अभाव 
anavasthan. So then if you say that Brahman also is born, Brahman also is Vikara, Brahman also has a beginning, it is it has an Adi, then what happens? There is no Anadi left. If the primary cause Brahman also has a cause, that means that there is nothing which is causeless, nothing that is beginningless, then what will happen? Anadi Karana Abhavena. So now we are not left with any Karana or cause, Anadi. <coughs> Therefore, Anavastha. So what happens? If Brahman is cause, Brahman also has a cause. Which is a cause, so it must have also have a cause. That will lead to infinite regression. That means cause is not established, in which case effect cannot be. The fact that effects are there, that means there must be a cause which is uncaused. The fact, otherwise, otherwise there is infinite regress. Every cause also must have a cause. So Brahman is a cause, then it also must have a cause. Then cause of Brahman is a cause, so it also must have a cause. Which is a cause, so it must have also a cause. Every father must be a son. Then grandfather also is a son, father, so he is also a son. Then Ishwara is the father of everybody, so he also must be a son. Then who is fa whose father it is and where is the first father? Unless the first father is there, you cannot arrive at the son. Unless the first cause is there, you cannot arrive at the effect. Unless the first illumination is there, you cannot arrive at the illumination. Unless the first existence is there, you cannot arrive at existence. Therefore, there must be an uncaused cause. Otherwise, anavastha, infinite regression will be there. So, that is what we would say. We ask him, if you said that Brahman also is, a, is in effect, Brahman also must have a cause, then it leads to anavastha, Infinite regression. He says, no, it does not lead. How? Bijankarvat anaditpo patte. Famous question, which was born first, bija or ankura? Or in English, hand, you know, chicken or the egg. Which is the first one? Chicken or the egg? Chicken cannot be unless the egg is. Egg cannot be unless the chicken is. So which one is first born? But here, bija ankura. Which one is born first? A sprout or the seed? Seed cannot be unless a sprout is. Sprout cannot be unless a seed is. But is there there? See, even though you cannot establish which is first seed or the sprout, but the fact remains that sprouts and seeds are there. So there is no need that you should have an uncaused cause. From the example of the Bija and Ankura, it is shown that it is possible to have Bija and Ankura. Even though you cannot pinpoint which is the cause and which is the effect. Similarly, even though Brahman also may be in effect, there is Anadi Parampara is there, therefore Anavastha will not be there. So, Bijan Kuravat Anadi Tohupatte. So, Brahman can be Anadi like Bijan Kura, <coughs> even though it is a cause. And secondly, Tathacha, Deepad, Deepavad, Brahmantarad, Brahmantarod, Patihi. Another example. Tathacha, Deepad, Deepavad. So just as one lamb is born of another lamb, one Brahman can be born of another Brahman. So there the example was from fire, the sparks are born, but here a lamb is born of another lamb. Similarly, one Brahman can be born another Brahman. Utpatya shrutya cha anadya shruti hi neya. So now we have two shrutis, Utpatya shruti and anadya shruti. Utpatya shruti says Brahman is born, anadya shruti says Brahman is birthless. Now the Ekadeshi wants to reconcile. So he will say that one is Mukhya, other is Gavani. So what is Mukhya? The birth, the jan, jan, Jani Shruti is Mukhya. The Anadi Shruti is Gavani. So Anaditva Shruti Neya. 
Anaditva Shruti, the statement of Shruti, which says Brahman is Anadi, must be, name is Gauni. It must be in a secondary sense, not in the primary sense. So the Shruti that talks about the birth of Brahman is in primary sense. The Shruti that talks about Anaditva Brahman is secondary sense. Iti Anadi Ananta Brahma Samanve Asiddhi. Therefore, Brahman is not proven to be anadi anantam because somewhere it says Brahman is born. Iti prapte mukya siddhantam aha. So, purupaksha, ekadeshi and mukya siddhanta. Purupaksha, the shrutis are opposed to each other. Ekadeshi, no. One is gauni, other is mukya. Siddhanta, both are mukya. So, that's the siddhanta everywhere. Tāma Shankam Apanetum Idam Sutram Asambhavastu Ide You can see how the doubts are raised based on the previous discussion. Every answer or every conclusion appears to create another doubt. That's how the Sangat is there, you know. So how one Adhikaran follows the other Adhikaran. So what con the conclusion that was arrived at in the previous Adhikaran itself causes a ground for the next Adhikaran. So different kind of Sangatis are there. Akshepa Sangat is there. Drushtanda Sangat is there. And so this is the uh, different kinds of Sangati are there. <coughs> Here, Dushtanda Sangati, sometimes Akshepa Sangati, etc. <coughs> so, Tam Ashankam Apanetum to eliminate that doubt, Idam Sutram, this Sutra is there, Asambhavastu Iti, that birth of Brahman is impossible. <coughs> says Ratna Prabhupada, Brahma na jayate kana shunyatvat nara vishanavata. Brahma na jayate. Our argument is, Brahman is not born. So before we, did, we arrive at the conclusion of which truth is primary, which truth is secondary, consider whether Brahman is is worth being born, Brahman has, does it have the capacity, the nature to be born? Brahman by nature itself is birthless. Then you take about well, talk about Shruti later on, but Brahman being Brahman has to be birthless, is a primary cause, and the primary cause must be birthless. Therefore, Brahman Najayate, Kana Sunyatvat, the Brahman cannot have a cause, and therefore Brahman is not born. Naravishanavata. Like Naravishana, the horn on the head of a human being, they cannot be born because they cannot have a cause. <coughs> I don't know why such an example is given, but anyway, Naravishanavata. Like the horn on the head of a human being, Najayate is not born. Karna Sunyatvad because there is no Karanam, the cause of Naravishanam or Sasavishanam. <coughs> Vyatirika in a Ghatavat. So Vyatirika example is possible. Everything is born. The thing is that there is no illustration of something that is not born. There were no no example could be given. Only Vyatirika in a Ghatavat. Yannaivam Tannaivam. That's all you can say. So, Yajjayate tadna kāna sunyam. That's how to say. What was born is always possessed of kāranam. Ghatā divat. So the vyatireke na ghatavat. Like ghatā is born because ghatā has a kāranam. Therefore whatever is born must have a kāranam. What does not have a kāranam cannot be born. So by vyatireka you have to arrive at this. Iti anumāna anugrahat. So now see... We also have Nanuman Anugraha. So the argument was 
the Shruti talking about the birth of Brahman has the support of Anumanam or inference that whatever is cause also must have a cause. That Anumana supports the birth of Brahman. We say that whatever is born so must have a cause but what is not what doesn't have a cause cannot be born. And so Brahman doesn't have a cause, the Brahman cannot be born. So that Anumanam supports the Shruti, Ajatva Shruti. So they have presented Anumanam, we should also present Anumanam, which is in conformity with or which is favorable to the Ajatva Shruti. It is Anumana Anugrahat, therefore Anugraha, there is favorableness of this line of reasoning with reference to the Ajatvam, birthlessness of Brahman. Vipakshe. Another thing is, if you do not accept this, if you insist upon accepting the birth of Brahman, then Akarana Karyavada Prasangat. Akarana Karyavada Prasangat. Then what happens? There is no Karanam left. There is no primary Karanam. Brahman, Brahman is supposed to be a primary cause. If Brahman also has a cause, then there is no primary cause left. Akarana Karyavad. Then things are created without a reason. Things are created without the cause. Because no cause is established. Why is the universe there? No cause is established. As far things are what? They are just they are there without any reason at all. In that case, there can be no reason, no order in the universe. Why should something happen? Normal rule is that something cannot happen without a reason. Therefore, whenever an event happens, you always investigate about the reason and you find out why this thing happened. This has been our experience. But if the first birth itself is without a cause, then all the births also are without the cause. That means what? Whatever happens in the universe has no cause. In that case, there is no order. <clears throat> there is no predictability at all. But we find predictability is there order is there, therefore the cause must be there. <coughs> Akaran Karyavada Prasangad Brahm Anaditva Shruteha Bali Yasya That is Brahman is born is one Shruti somewhere which also is stated in a different way for a different reason. But if you take it literally then also there are so many Shrutis talking about the birthlessness of Brahman. Therefore Anaditva Brahma Anaditva Shruti hai Bali Yasya hai. That means the Shruti is talking about the Anaditvam, the beginninglessness of Brahman are stronger. Iti Karnatva Linga Badaad Janma Shruti Iti Karnatva Linga Badaad Janma Shruti Shruti Karya Abhedena Vyakya Iti Karna Linga Badaad Karnatva Linga Badaad What is the Linga? In Brahman, the linga was karnatvam. That, so the rule was, what is it? Yad yad karanam tat tat karyam viyadvat so Brahma kutasya jayate karnatvat akasadivat So reason is, Brahman is born because it is karanam. So karanam becomes lingam, becomes an evidence to prove that Brahman is born. But that karnatvam, that linga is what is negated. Karnatva linga badhat. Therefore the linga of karnatvam in Brahman is thus negated by the argument that if you don't accept the primary karanam, then this akarya karanam, akarana karyam, then there will be no order at all. Therefore karanam must be there. The fact that universe is born the fact that there is order in the universe, that means that there must be a cause, a primary cause must be there, which itself should not have a cause, and Brahman is the cause like that. So this reasoning overrules your supposedly imagination that Brahman, that Brahman is Karanam, so that rule must apply to every Karanam, it does not apply to Brahman. Even though the rule that what is cause must also be a cause applies to everything but does not apply to Brahman. Because from another standpoint, Brahman 
has to be the primary cause. If there is no primary cause in the universe, then there will be all the karya without the cause, which doesn't make sense. Therefore, <coughs> karanatva linga badat janma shudhen. That means that ajan, so the shrutis they talk about the birthless and the brahman are the primary shrutis. Then how do you explain? Tvam jato bhosi vishvato mukha that you are born for with faces all around. How do you explain that Shruti? Says Karya Abhedena Vyakhyaya Janma Shruti. The Shruti way talks about the Janma, the birth of Brahman must be Vyakhya, must be explained as Karya Abhedena. Meaning that the Karya is not separate from Karana. So this you are born, this universe is your manifestation, universe is not separate from you. That's all it means. Not that you are born as universe. But the universe is not separate from you. That's how the that Shruti must be explained. <coughs> Iti Anadi Anta Brahma Samanvay Siddhiti Siddhanta Phalam. And therefore, the result of Siddhanta is that Anadi Ananta Brahma Samanvaya. There is Samanvaya, the reconciliation in Brahman, Anadi beginningless as well as Ananta endless. <coughs> Iti Siddhanta Phalam. <clears throat> so Mahashakara says Nakhalu Brahmanaha Sadatmakasya Kutaschita Anyataha Sambhavaha Utpattihi Ashankitavya Asambhavastu Anupapattehe Nakhalu Brahmana Sadatmakasya Kutaschit Anyataha Sambhavaha That's called Asambhavaha <coughs> This part is explained Utpattihi Ashankitavya That one should not have this doubt that Brahman also is born from some other cause. <coughs> which Brahman? Sadatmakasya Brahman. Brahman which is of nature of Sat or existence. So Brahman with the nature of Sat or existence, that that can be born from some other cause, that doubt should not be there. <coughs> Karna Sunyatam Vishadi Kurvan Prashnapurukam Sautram Hetumadatte Sautram Hetum. What's a Hetu given in Sutra? Anupatte Kaan Sunyatum Vishadi Kurvan. So actually, Bhashyakara wants to clarify how Kaan Sunyatum is there. Brahman is devoid of any Karanam. To bring out that point, the Sutra Kara has already given the Hetu Anupatte because not keeping with reason. To bring it out, Bhatshakara raised that question, Kasmaditi. Kasmat Anupatte He. So, why do you say that you should not doubt that Brahman may be born from some other cause? Why should that, not, why should that doubt not arise? Anupatte, because there is no Upapatte. There is no logicality, no reasoning that supports the cause of Brahman. That Brahman can be born, cannot be supported by any reasoning. So says Ratnavrava, Na hetu asiddhi karnasya anirupanat. What is the hetu? Anupatte he. It is not logical. So na hetu asiddhi. Don't say that illogicality cannot be proven. Karnasya Anirupana because you cannot actually establish or you cannot arrive at the cause of Brahman. So look at it that way. So before you interpret the Shruti, you also have to take into account the reasoning. So Shruti appears to say that Brahman is born. All right, we'll, we'll come to that later. The point is, first look at Brahman and determine whether is it possible that Brahman can be a cause is there upavati? Is there a reasoning by which you can arrive at that, that Brahman can have a cause? 
is not possible karanasya anirupanat because the cause of brahman cannot be arrived at in any way is not logical cannot be explained <coughs> cannot explain this cannot be possible so ratnavara says tathahi to explain kim san matrasya brahman san matram eva samanyam karanam sad visesho va asad va brahman can have three causes possibly san matrasya brahman san matram eva samanyam karanam one is that sat can be born of sat sat is samanyam universal so brahman which is universal existence one possibility is that brahman can be born of another brahman which is also sat or existence sat visesho va or brahman can be born of something which is a vishesha which is which is a particular so brahman the universal can be born from a particular so brahman the universal can be born from another universal one possibility other possibility is brahman which is universal can be born of another vishesha or particular or third asadva or brahman can be born of non existence so brahman can be born of unqualified existence brahman can be born of qualified existence or brahman can be born of non existence these three possibilities are there if you examine these three possibilities you find that it is not possible to to arrive at the cause of brahman and therefore brahman is causeless therefore brahman is birthless so that's the argument we'll continue tomorrow <coughs> om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamada यूर्णमेवशिष्यते ओ शाति 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 शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमद्यादेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरी ओ